And the other thing I think is, is using technology. And here's a case where MIT's absolutely been at the forefront. forefront. Uh, open courseware, you know, there's great numbers in terms of how much uh, it's being used by millions of people. I'm a super happy user. Uh, you know, I retook physics with Walter Lewin. I took uh, uh, Professor Sadaway's course and loved that. I, uh, I, I recommend it to everybody. Uh, uh, you know, Eric Lander, biology, you know, refresh on differential equations. Uh, actually, of the 33 that they have videos, I've taken 11. Uh, and I just last night spotted two new ones that I need to take. So uh, ju just for me, it's a good thing. Uh, but this is just the beginning, you know, and, and you know, it's, MIT did spark a lot of people to do similar things. But the percentage of people using these things and the difficulty of finding something and testing your knowledge, really bringing the best of video, the best professors in the world, have interactive experiments, interactive ways of testing your knowledge, uh, even accreditation have a way that if uh, you have gathered this knowledge, instead of that all coming bundled with the degree where you had to be somewhere for four years, you know, fairly expensive, say a quarter million, uh, actually have the accreditation piece be separated out so you can have innovation in terms of how people acquire the knowledge and, and separate it from uh, place-based learning. Now, the exact path of this is, is not clear. You know, there's some schools like Rocket Ship uh, who even at the middle school level are using online courses and mixing that in with live teaching. It's an area that needs to be tried. And, uh, you know, you have to keep the kids motivated. You have to help when they get com get confused. Some of that will be face-to-face, -face, but there's online innovation there, too. Right now, it's all pretty fragmented. You know, different universities doing different courses. It's kind of hard to find uh, things. Academic growth does a little bit of, of uh, aggregation there, but th this can improve very substantially. Uh, I was talking with Victor Zhu about how we take uh, speech recognition and, and bring that in. And we were talking about making it more modular if you just want to learn different concepts. So we are just scratching the surface. And the need to take this and have teachers be able to learn how to teach better, to assign kids who are ahead, to assign kids who are behind, or to have self-motivated people go in and use this and, and have it be a worldwide resource that's very clear who should use what. Uh, that's something that uh, needs to get done. And, you know, that, uh, again, it's... What's been done so far has had uh, very modest funding. This is an area we need more resources, more bright minds, and certainly one that uh, I want to uh, see how uh, the foundation can make a contribution to this.